If you like this video or content, please give me a subscribe. If you like the actual video, give me a thumbs up. But anyway, let's continue on with the video. Hello, welcome to the Retro Show. I'm Mike and we're gonna be looking at new games for your Sega Game Gear. If you are stumbling upon my channel and wondering what's going on, I normally play homebrew games, hacks, and game modifications for retro systems. But anyway, you're more interested in new games for your Game Gear, so stay tuned. Hello, welcome back. These are two more games for your Game Gear. I haven't done a Game Gear video in a while, but I decided, hey, uh, there's two games and I couldn't find a third one. <laughs> this is Tetris for the Game Gear. Oh. So, yeah. So what are you going to say? It's Game Gear, but it looks absolutely... Actually, I'm going to put this on my analog pocket. This looks actually amazing. Actually. I didn't mean that as in normally Tetris games are bad. They're pretty much all the same. Actually, now all Tetris games are made by the same company and the copyright, which is deserved, right? There's a really weird history with Tetris, if you want to take a look at that where the original owner was back in Soviet Russia. Nintendo bought the rights apparently, but they're not supposed to because because it was a rush uh, a, a communist citizen or a Soviet Union citizen. It, it, it belonged to the Soviet Union and it was just weird. But now it's it's a company that um, only makes Tetris games, I think. Or variations of it which is either funded by the original person or something to do with the original person I'm not too sure Tough. Oh, I should have put it there. Oh. They're screaming at the TV, aren't you? Yeah, you're probably doing that. And I did it again. Oh, why am I getting all these pieces like that? Uh, Alright, I guess I gotta make a good and a bad situation. Uh, you're probably yelling at me saying, I'm really bad at Tetris. Oh boy, uh -huh, uh -huh. getting the same pieces over and over again. Hard to play. Alright, and here. Nice. Actually, I remember uh, we had a Game Boy. Yeah, I'm screwed. All right. So let's see what other options we have. I remember we had a Game Boy when, and it came packed in. Uh, it came packed in with Tetris, and it turns out my family. Uh, it was supposed to be. Uh, it was bought for my little brother which is Steve, you know him. And it turns out that just as much as the fa whole family was playing the game of Tetris. And then for Christmas, I bought him Super Mario Land, the first one. And we had the original OG Game Boy with the puke green screen. And I tried to play the game even though it's for my brother, I know, but he played it a little bit and left it alone. And there was so much blur when he moved, I can barely see it. And I didn't have my glasses at the time. Like, I had perfect vision. I was like, ah. Uh. <laughs> so. Oh, boy. Oh, there we go. What was your memories of Tetris? 
First time I saw Tetris was... I was working as a security guard in a building. Uh, it was a CBC building, which is the Canadian Broadcasting. I was a security guard at, at there. And the mailroom employees, I guess it was a slow day, one of them had Tetris on the computer. It was the first time I saw it, Tetris. And they're all huddled around there playing the game. Screaming at me that I was so oh, oh come on Fine I did that on purpose to this now. Alright, so I'm just going to move on to probably I'm going to use this as a thumbnail but they're porting Wolfenstein. It's actually called Maze 3D but it's actually Wolfenstein which is the title. Um, press start. Okay, never mind. Let's try this again. Alright. That was weird. It's Wolfenstein. Oops, alright. That is opening the door. Guy over here. Oh. Oop. Yeah. Like, it's the limitations of the game, I understand. Uh, but... Like, this is impressive for... An 8-bit processor? Like there's some shortcuts, but and they're still being worked on. I was waiting for it to be a little bit more baked. If that makes any sense. Alright, so that's a lamp. A light, and then there's the oh. That's the brown room. Oh, whoa, hey, how you doing, friend? Is there a secret here? Nope. <laughs> whoa, hey, friend. Stop shooting! Alright. Ooh. Okay. Okay, that's going back to the other room. Or not. Oh, hello, friend. Ooh. Whoa, hey, how you doing, friend? Ooh. I don't think there's an ending to this level. Of course, I'll... Oh, they opened the door. Okay. Poochie here? Poochie. Oh, 
Ooh, nice. Oh. Alright. Nice. Probably going around in circles. Oh. That was a problem with Wolfenstein. It's... And it's not this game, it's Wolfenstein in general. It was very, um, with Doom, oops, there we go. It was more like everything was a samey. So you have to get your bearings. That's why Doom came with them. Ooh, oh, wow. Nice. That was unexpected. Wow, this looks amazing. At least I made it to the, through the first level. Oh, doggy, come here. Oh, hello, you friend. Oh, just the level of doggies. Oh, there's a poochie. There's a poochie. Did I just eat dog food? Is that dog food? Yeah, I guess so. I guess the beggars can't be choosers. Kennel. Another kennel. Come on. Oh, hello. What's that? I guess that's the beginning? Oh, hello. This is impressive, really, considering it's on an 8-bit... Ooh! Oh, a uh, new guy. Oh, no, I died. <laughs> this is awesome. I'll put the links below if you want to check any of these games out. But for the YouTube stuff, you know what to do. Hit the little subscribe button. Hit the little bell for more videos like this. Until the next video, this is Mike. Signing off.